Well, this is a uh, devotional thought for Saturday, um, December 12, 2020. 12-12-2020. Um, we're going to be looking at uh, a verse from Hebrews 11. <coughs> Excuse me. Verse 11 says, Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Now we should not assume that Sarah did not believe in the Lord prior to this, but as we have already seen in our study of uh, uh, Abram's household, uh, that those who have faith in the Lord sometimes make decisions or look upon their situation without exercising their faith, without trusting their Redeemer completely regarding specific things. When the Lord announced that she would conceive, Sarah's response was this in Genesis 18. Now Abram and Sarah were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am wax old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? And the Lord said unto Abram, Abram, wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety bear a child which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, saying, I laugh not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didst laugh. Abraham laughed also, we, we read, at this news, but perhaps his was more a laughter of, of joy, while his wife's was something of a laughter of doubt. Our verse in Hebrew clearly, Hebrews, that is, clearly suggests that Sarah got past her initial doubt regarding this specific subject. And that's not surprising. After all, when the Almighty God asks you flat out, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Uh, you have some serious thinking to do. And as for the answer to that question, Jesus himself said in Matthew 19, with God, all things are possible. And the angel who addressed Mary regarding the birth of Jesus said this, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So one thing we can learn from Sarah is this. While we might at times respond to situations with less than absolute confidence in the Lord's ability, we should choose wholeheartedly to believe what God says. Sarah ultimately accepted the truth of God's proclamation. Uh, here's one more thing to think about. Every time she or her husband used their son's name, they would have been reminded that at first, they laughed at the idea, whether out of joy or doubt, they laughed, and the name Isaac means laughter. So as ridiculous as the idea of having a child at their age might have seemed, the Lord brought it about, and their child's name was a constant reminder that with God, all things are possible. Have a great day. God bless you.